Hello and welcome to the sixth video in the PHP eCommerce Shanta's Boutique series. Uh, my name is Curtis and I will be your host today. And here we go. We're going to make our website dynamically load our products and it's going to be awesome. So here we go. First thing I'm going to do is fire up my server. I'm using Xamp. So for Linux, this is how you start it. All right. Hmm. Well, I seem to use the wrong. <laughs> you start it with start and you stop with stop. That makes a lot more sense. All right, now we're running. Um, and so here we go. We're going to also just navigate to our projects folder, which is in for is in root lamp. Our sorry, root opt lamp, ht docs, and then the name of our pro, pro my project is tutorial. Yours may be something else. If I hit ls, you can see my files here. I'm going to open this in Atom, and to do that, I'm just going to type Atom space period, enter. And in a moment, that'll open up in Atom. You can see here, it did do so. Well, I'm going to go ahead and close some of these files that we're not going to need to work on today. We are pretty much going to need the index. Yeah, we're just going to need to work on the index file today. So here we go. Um, first thing we're going to do is make a few changes to our database. And to get to our database, remember we just type localhost forward slash php my admin in your browser. And then find our database. Mine's tutorial. And first thing we're going to do is add a brand. We haven't added a brand yet, so um, we're just going to hit insert here. After click, we're in our database and on our table brand. And right here, I'm not going to put anything in ID, but I'm going to put Levi's in the brand here. And I'm just going to hit go. I only need one brand for now. We'll add more later. And then in the products, let's go ahead and look at the structure of it. I forgot to have us add something very important here. And what we're going to add is a featured tab, or, or features column, so that we could tell the products uh, apart. Like if we want to have some featured on our home page, um, we're just going to have a boolean value stored here, or rather an integer as, of 0 or 1. A 1 will mean true, and that will, if it's featured of 1, it will show up on our home page. And if it's a 0, it will not show up on, as a featured product. The other thing that we I forgot to add here is uh, we need sizes. And we're going to keep track of our sizes and our inventory in the same column. I know it's a little weird, but that's just the way I done it with this project. Um, I would probably recommend doing that a little different, um, but that's the way I'm going to do it. So just, to, just we're making things a little more simple just for time's sake. So here I'm going to go ahead and structure. I'm up here in structure and I'm in my products. I'm going to add two new columns and I'm just going to add them at the end of the table. And for name, I'm going to do featured and we're going to keep that as, we'll put that as a tiny int. And um, for default, we we'll put as defined and we'll put zero there. And then we're going to add another field called sizes. And this one we're going to make text actually because we're going to store, allow people to store all kinds of stuff in this one column, uh, all different characters. And we w aren't going to be using varchar just in case they have a product that has a million and one sizes. <laughs> so we're also going to keep track of our quantities here. So I'm just going to hit save. Okay. Now let's go ahead and insert a product in here. So I'm just going to put uh, Levi's jeans. All right. For price, I'm going to put $29.99. List price, I'm going to put $39.99. Brand, I'm not going to type Levi's here. What I'm going to do is put one. And the reason I'm putting one is because when we entered that Levi's into our brand uh, table, it had an ID of one. So this is going to always be an integer and it's going to correspond with uh, the ID inside of brand. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. Um, categories, I'm not going to put anything here just yet because I can't remember what the category is. We'll go and look at that in a minute. For images, um, later we're going to be uploading these, um, so we're not going to need to do this, but for now, um, what I want to do, oops, sorry, I'm going to put forward slash 
the name of my project forward slash images forward slash products forward slash men three I think dot png okay and for description I'm just gonna type something here how about these jeans are amazing they are super comfy and sexy buy them please and I'm not gonna put the same thing as we have on our static site let's go ahead and open up another tab and uh, look at our static site real quick here's our static site so here's the Levi's jeans that we're adding um, here's my details that I put in there and I'm not gonna go through and do that but the other thing that we want to do is I want this to be on the home page so I'm gonna change that 0 to 1 on featured and on sizes um, I'm gonna put we're gonna separate these out by commas so here's the sizes 28 32 36 and also what we're gonna do is before we put a comma we're gonna put a colon and we're gonna put the quantity so the syntax is like this and this is just the way I decided to do it the first bit here is the size colon quantity of that size available okay so we're just gonna follow suit so what this is going to mean is that we have three pairs of size 28 available we have five pairs of size 32 available and we have one pair of 36 available that's just how I chose to do this so if you want to do it differently go ahead your code will just need to reflect that um, hit go and I want to go back and look at my categories here and we've, to give it a, the correct category we're gonna look at the IDs okay and we want men um, so men was ID 1 so let's look over here and we see that pants men's pants with ID 1 here is actually number six so I hope that makes sense men's pants are is ID number six and we'll make that easier for the user later um, but we can kind of keep track of this like this so I'm gonna go back here to products now that I know that that is six and you see I have my one uh, deal inserted here so in categories I'm just gonna put the number six here and that's it so we should be good to go now in our database and let's just go ahead and jump over to the code so on our main index page here um, we got quite a bit going on but most of this is just repeated and we you notice that these are all just different products so we're not gonna need most of this code in fact we're just gonna need from this div right here um, with the class of column uh, small three text center um, this right here it we're gonna loop and we're basically each product is gonna need this amount of code so in order to do this what I'm going to do is we're gonna um, we're going to go ahead and delete all this other code so it just doesn't get in our way here so we need this row here so let's see where that ends right here so I'm just gonna grab all these other products for now except for our first product I'm just gonna get rid of it um, go ahead and save that and at the very top of the page we do a little bit more PHP here and I mean just a small amount so right here after this include we're going to go ahead and create our SQL statement. So I'm going to create a variable, call it SQL, and in double quotes, I like to do my SQL statements in double quotes. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and type this out. So select star, which means select all from, and then in lowercase, I'm going to put the name of my table, and I want that to be from products, okay? And I'm going to give it a condition. So where is all caps again. So where featured equals one so what's gonna happen here is it's gonna select everything in our since this is our featured products page our home page remember that uh, that uh, column that we added in our table called featured and we told it if we want it on the home page that needs to be equal to one so we're saying select all from the table products where featured equals one and that that's what that's going to do so now what we do need to do is actually run the query and we're going to do that because we've already included our in our uh, init initialization file here init.php 
And I'm just gonna open that up real quick. Um, let's see, includes. Where's my core? There it is, core in it. And we have this variable store here called DB for database, and that's our connection. Um, so we now that that's included on our page because we have this require once core in it at the top of our page, we can use that um, variable or that object that we call DB. So, and this actually needs to happen after this variable. But I'm gonna what I'm going to say is DB. And then we're going to make a little arrow by hitting dash greater than. That makes the arrow. Okay, and that's what, what I'm doing is calling an object. And we're going to call it a method of that object. Now, a method is like a function, but it's a function inside of that class or that object. So the database um, object has a um, method called query. So I'll go ahead and close that out. And then what we're going to do is pass this in our SQL statement. So we're, do, we're calling our, our object DB that was defined right here, and we're running a method called query, and we're, we're gonna pass it our actual query statement, which is what we saved right here. So that's where that comes from. All right, so we'll save that. Okay, so now what we wanna do is we actually want it to assign this to something, to a variable, and I'm just gonna call it feature. All right, so Right here on the left, I put I make a new variable called featured. We do that by putting the dollar sign in front of it, okay? And then I called it featured. You can call it whatever you want, but featured seems to make sense to me. So I called featured equals, and right here is we're running that query. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make use of the PHP while loop, and we're going to loop through every one of these results from this query and print this onto the screen. Okay, so in order to do this, we're going to start the, the loop right here after this h2 tag. So we're going to open our PHP tags, and we'll do while. And then we're going to do a, a little bit of syntax here that looks like this. A typical while uh, loop you will see like this a lot of times with the curly braces afterwards, and everything that goes in the curly braces is what happens when the loop runs. Um, the, another way to write that is just like this. You're going to put a colon and then we're going to close PHP tags. And the reason we're doing that is because this will be a little more um, this will be a little more efficient if we're not having all of this printed inside of from within PHP. We're not having PHP print all of this. Instead, we're going to break out of PHP and it's going to do this inside of the loop. So what I need to do now is I need to end this while loop. So instead of having the curly brace, the closing curly brace, the way we do is we have to open PHP back up and we just type end while and then we put a semicolon this time and then we close our PHP tags. Okay, so let's go ahead and clean up our code and indent it properly. Alright, so this code now is all inside of our PHP while loop but we still need to give it a condition and what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to create a uh, variable called product and we're going to say product equals and then what we're going to do is we're going to say my SQL I underscore fetch underscore so a sock or associate array okay that's a pre-made my SQL function my SQL I function and then we need to pass it in featured okay So what it's going to do is it's going to loop through the while statement and it's going to assign that row. It's, it's going to go through each row in our database that has the featured equal one and it's going to assign it to product each time it goes through. So now we have um, access to this product uh, array. It's actually going to make an array because we told it MySQLI fetch associate and that actually returns an associative array which is where this ASSOC is short for is associative array. So that's where, where we're going to go with that and just to show you what that looks like I'm going to go down a line here and we're going to get rid of this but I'm just going to show you we're going to do a var dump var dump and we're going to do product and save that out and let's just go ahead and look at our page here. I'm going to hit refresh here and we see right here on the top of the page 
we have this array. Now we only have one product in our um, database so we're only going to get one product here but if we look real closely we'll notice that these indexes or the, associate, the association here, these indexes are named the same thing as in our database. So we have an ID, we have a title, uh, we have a price, and by the way these are the values. So the ID, the value of the ID on that is 1. The title of our product is Levi's Jeans. You see how this is working? Price is $29.99. That's exactly how we entered it in here. ID, 1, title, Levi Jeans, price, and so on and so on. So that var dump is really useful. So I, I use var dump all the time. So learn that function and it helps you debug and, and try to see what's going on here. So let's go back to our code. And what we want to do is we don't want this to statically say Levi's jeans. We want it to say whatever's in the database. So first let's get rid of our var dump here. And right here where it says Levi's jeans, I'm going to get rid of that. But I'm going to keep the H4 tags. And inside these H4 tags, I'm going to echo, which by the way, um, you can type echo like this, or a shortcut is like this. That's the same thing. The, equals, the opening PHP tag equals the same as the full PHP tag and then typing echo after it. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a shortcut. So we're going to say echo. And then we're going to echo our product array. And what do we want to echo there? Our title. So we, we get do the square braces. And then inside single quotes, we're going to say, I want my title. So then we'll close this PHP echo. And our, we'll just go ahead and close our PHP tag altogether. So this right here now will be pulling from our database instead of being statically generated. The next thing I'm going to do is just copy that right there because I also want my alt tag of my um, of my image to be the exact same thing. We want it just to be the title of the product. Okay. So right here in our source, we're going to get rid of our source right there, and we're going to put that dynamic as well. So we'll open your PHP tags echo and its product. But this time, we're going to put in our square braces and single quotes. We're going to put image. And that's going to give us our image URL. Um, so we'll go ahead and close that PHP tag. So now our image should be drawn from our database. And right here we have list price. So right here I'm just going to only delete the 54.99, and I'm going to do open in our PHP tags product list underscore price. You see a pattern going on here? So each time we have access to this product array and we're just passing the index of that array right after that and that's what's being printed by this echo statement here. So we, got pro we have our title, our image, and our list price so far. So if we look at our database, we have title, list underscore price, and we have our price here, and here's our image. So that's where that, all that's gonna come from. Okay, so let's go back to our code. And right here we're going to replace our price and make it dynamic. So open our PHP tags. We're going to say product price. All right. And our button. Um, our button we're going to leave alone now. We're going to touch the button next when we actually do our modal. We're going to make our modals uh, dynamic in the next video. But let's just go ahead now and take a look at our page. And it really won't look much different. Um, you can see I have the wrong, the wrong image loaded here. But the price is OK, uh, $39.99, $29.99. I won't be able to really see my description yet because that's going to be drawn from uh, the inside the modal. But our modal is not actually, um, it's not. How do I say it? It's not dynamic yet. It's still just being generated right here in our modal. But let's go ahead and look at our images. And I'm going to get the right image for the genes here. So what was that? Was it men one? Men four is our genes. So I'm just going to go ahead and change that really quick in the database so that we can see that that's actually coming from the database. Just double click there and I'm going to change that 3 to a 4. 
And just so you can also see that we are drawing from our database, I'm going to change the price to $39.99. I'm going to change our list price to, um, let's make it ridiculous, like $69.99. Alright, so now if I go back to my page and refresh, we have our jeans image and our prices reflect the $39.99 and the $69.99 there. So we are actually dynamic now. So um, I'm going to leave it up to you to add more products to your website. It's uh, really easy. You're just going to go here to your products and you're going to go to insert and just start filling these out for another product. Um, maybe I'll do one more with you and then you, you can do as many as you'd like. I would just do a couple. But I'm going to do one more, and let's just call this one uh, Beautiful Shirt or something. I don't know. And we'll call, give it a price of $19.99, a list price of $24.99. Brand, we're just going to say one again because we don't have any other brands. So Levi's for now. We'll go back and make that awesome later. For categories, it's also going to be a Actually, it's going to be five because that's men's shirts. Um, you can look in your categories table to figure that out. And for image, I'm going to do my root. And then images, products, forward slash men, um, one, I think. And what a beautiful shirt this is normally we put a really good description but um, we're just gonna put some crap in here for now and of course we're gonna end all of our products with please buy me we spent too much on our site and we are broke they hired us, right? And we charge it on the leg, right? We're gonna make this featured so it shows up on the home page. And for sizes, uh, I'm gonna do small, and we'll go ahead and say there's three smalls, comma, and do the next size. The next one's gonna be uh, medium. And we'll say that we have six of those, and we'll do large, and we'll say that we have nine larges available. Why not? Hit go. So now if I go back to my page and refresh, there we are. We have our new product. So our page is actually dynamic now. Um, so that's that's that. And then in the next video, we're going to go ahead and make our modals actually dynamic and have those drawing from the database as well. And we'll be well on our way to uh, finishing up this site. So have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, by the way. If you like these videos and you'd like to see more, please like and subscribe. Uh, maybe leave a comment and I will try to get better and not say um as much and be more prepared. So have a great day.